वैश्यव हियर एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक क्यूरियासिटीज इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव शो न्यू वॉट्स इन साइड इज डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर एंड इट्स ऑल द फंक्शन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू मेजर द डी सी वोल्टेज एज वेल एज द ए सी वोल्टेज इन हियर आई हैव दिस डी सी बैटरीज विच विच विल शो यू डी सी वोल्टेज इज एंड I have this component. I will show you how to measure it, uh, and also the continuity of the uh, this wire, if the wire is proper or not. And 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 the last, I will show you how to measure AC voltage, that is alternating current. So let's begin and be with me. So to measure DC voltage, you have to select here DC, DC mode. We can we can measure up to thousand volt DC volt. Uh, now i will show you how to measure this batteries these are 9 volt batteries and these are mobile batteries uh, which generally have 3 to 4 volts now let's measure uh, it shows 8.7 means it working here it shows uh, 7.1 if i reverse the polarity here it will show here negative sign means your polarity of probes and uh, batteries are not the same so you have to reverse it and make the same now it is not showing show uh, let's see this yeah this is showing 0 0.5 means it is not working so it is bad i will show you this this is a lithium battery 3 volt lithium battery it has plus and this is ne negative so i will show you Yeah, it's showing 2.4. And I show you this uh, batteries, mobile batteries. Here they have given positive and negative sign. So you have to connect. This is negative. This is positive. So connect here negative and positive. Yeah, it is showing 3. Yeah, it is showing 3.2. Then this. Um, It does not show anything means it is not working means it is not working let's see this is yeah this is 3.8 means it is working now let's see how to measure this electronic components and this LED now I am measuring electronic components starting with LED you have to see from DC voltage to here to calculate the to means to check the LED. So I shifted LED have two legs. Shorter leg is uh, negative and longer leg is positive. You can also identify its legs. Here it has flattened legs means uh, uh, it is ne uh, negative. Here it is flattened part means it is negative if the both uh, legs are same. Uh, now let's check connect here positive to longer leg and to shorter leg negative the LED should glow you can see LED is glowing means the LED is proper I'm taking another LED you see this is also glowing means it is also a good LED now I'm che I will check uh, the diode uh, it has positive as well as negative polarity the silver part here it is negative and the other part is positive diode is normally used in rectifiers it convert AC to DC alternating current AC, AC current to DC current now let's check it will show the value it's showing 571 normally it should have value between 400 to 700 in between it should have value now it is showing 571 means it is good diode now let's check the value of resistance register i'm setting here to set to measure the value of register you have to set here i'm making my registers I 
how to check you can also identify its value based on its color coding yeah, it's showing it shows 985 9, ohms 985 ohms then I have others it is so lesser means you have to shift here yeah it is 10.4 ohms you can see the value 10.6 ohm closer to 11 yeah, see this yeah this is uh, something let's see what to show yeah this 5.6 now it is 5.6 ohm then I have this variable register this is a variable register which is used in radio for frequency changes it has the lake one two three and then the last two ends are the ends and that that will make the value of register fix means if you connect these uh, ends with the your circuit the value of the variable register will be fixed to its fi final value means its total value now i have this 20k if you connect this wire means both this wire middle one and last one or middle one or first one the value of register will vary from 0 to its final value I will show you I will remove this probe so it will be uh, easy for me to show you I am I am putting last two legs that will make the value of uh, this uh, constant yeah see you can see I am varying this the value of the uh, register will remain the same see value of register is remaining the same I am varying so if you are connecting uh, this in your circuit then you have to connect your last both the last end for fixed register if you are using as a variable register then you have to connect middle one middle one and the last one any last one you have to connect middle one then you see I am varying now it is zero I am increasing little 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 and it increases to maximum yeah 19 19.10 I am reducing it now yeah so it reduces to zero this is the function how it functions the register Now I will show you how to measure uh, channel tire. A channel tire have two polarities, negative and positive. The black part is uh, negative and the other part is positive. So let's ch check. If the buzzer sound on then that means it is perfect. So let's check. Yeah, the forward part is okay. Let's check the reverse part. Yeah, both side are working both in both direction it is working uh, the channel diode is working in both the uh, bias forward as well as the reverse bias whereas this uh, normal pin junction diode it works only in forward bias you can google it uh, why the channel diode is working in both the di uh, biases whereas the normal pin junction diode working only in uh, forward bias you can comment me below now I will show you how how to measure the uh, capacitor. How to measure the capacitor? I mean, not to measure how it is working or not. Its uh, value is uh, uh, given on this. It is 350 volts, 15 microfarads. Now I will show you it is working or not. Uh, we can't measure uh, we can we can't show you on this digital multimeter it is working or not 
uh, I will show you on this using this 9 volt battery using this 9 volt battery if it is working or not the function of this uh, capacitor is it stores the energy uh, so I will show you I am charging it I just charge it and I will show you on this LED it has this strip is negative so you can see it is negative and this longer is positive so you can collect connect this yeah the LED should glow for a certain time and I connected this and let's see it's glowing or not yeah you can see it's glows and no. this is a good capture you can say this is a good capture now I am showing you this this capacitor so I am charging it I charge it now this is this uh, capacitor is of 25 volts 100 microfarads the capacitor is major in microfarads let's see if this is working or not the LED should glow touching yeah LED is glowing means this is working or this is a good capacitor now I will show you how to measure the continuity of this wire this is a wire now I will show you how to measure the continuity of it. you have to set this multimeter here and I will show you connect one part to the one end of the black and connect other part to the other end the buzzer should sound yeah buzzer is sounding mean this uh, this wire is good the black part of the wire is good let's connect to the red part if it is working now i connected one part and one down yeah buzzer is uh, sounding means this wire is good to use and you can use this wire now i am showing you my charging wire this is my Trima charging wire. I will show you this, this wire is working or not. Connect this here one and, and connect it here on the part of the board. If sound on this means uh, the, con the wire uh, is good. Yeah, this, this part is good. If you connect it, it will not sound because it is not connected to that wire. If you connect here and then connect to here, it will sound. Means this charger wiring, charging wire is good. Now I will show you this jumping wire. These are the jumping wire used in Arduino's. Let's see its continuity. Means it is good or bad. I will connect these three together, and I will show you one by one. Yeah, it is good. Another one. Yeah, that is also good. Then yeah, this is also good. It's all three. This wire are good. Now I will show you how to measure the value of this transistor. This is uh, BC547 transistor. You can Google it. You will get the pin diagram of it. I will show you on this on the screen. You have to sh shift this to HFE. I have shown this function in my last video. So, so as you can see the middle part is always a base based on the transistor the collector and the emitter part is very varies so here i have on the flatten part collector base emitter let's check this is an npn transistor and i will check here npn transistor you have to set hfe and check here npn npn hfe Collect meter base collector. It will show here beta value that is a current gain. Yeah, it is showing 2.234 or something. Uh, yeah, 247. 247. It is showing 234 or 237. Closer to that. Mm. Now let's go to the AC part. How to measure AC voltage? Let's do it. Now finally, let's see how to measure AC voltage. This is my uh, extension board. 
which contain AC voltage uh, this uh, set we have to set here 750 volt because because the voltage coming at our home is 250 volt so we have to set here maximum maximum to 750 volt uh, let's see uh, this is socket this have a positive this is phase and a neutral and this is uh, earthing so let's on and let's see be careful while using AC circuit it may kill you because it has high voltage and current let's see um, it shows 244 volt you can see here it shows it shows 240, 245 volts now I will show you the voltage of this charging wire it will be same but I will show you in perfect way I on this be careful connect this here one part and other part to this you can see here 245 volts you can see 245 volts here see 245 to 245 yeah it's a, it's flickering yeah 245 you can see 245 so thank you for watching this video if you like this video you can like and subscribe my video so thank you for watching this video Thank you.